Hey guys, what's up? It's McKenzie Criswell here with another new tutorial. Uh, today we're taking a look at the new preset that I've released for After Effects. Uh, before we do, uh, if you look at the card section of the video, there uh, is a link to a playlist with all the videos I've made about presets. There's about three of them. There's two previous presets I've released in a video actually showing you how to create and export or save and upload your own presets to share. Uh, so be, f be sure to check those out, uh, but let's get started here. So what this uh, preset is, is it's uh, for color, actually. Uh, there's not a ton of coloring done in After Effects, um, but you know, a lot of times I, I do a lot of visual effects either in Nuke or in After Effects and I edit in Final Cut and the color tools in Final Cut aren't the best. And normally I would grade in DaVinci uh, but uh, if I'm already doing some visual effects in After Effects, a lot of times I like to throw on some kind of grade uh, to get uh, the shot more of a final look, uh, just so that I can see what it's going to look like in the end. So I've created a few kind of basic, uh, well actually just two basic presets uh, to, to get me started uh, that, uh, you know, I, that, uh, I decided to go ahead and upload. Is this a, this is a more direct preset than any of the other ones? This is literally just it's simply just for saving time. This is not one that's going to emulate film or uh, create any kind of effect like my other ones have done. Uh, so normally the way this would work is I'd want a curves effect more than likely. Uh, so I dried that. Okay. Uh, then I probably want a hue saturation effect controller. Uh, maybe a tint. levels, uh, I'd, I'd want a number of effects. And that can actually be a bit time consuming. Uh, so literally what I've done with the presets here is uh, basically try to take all the effects that you would normally be dragging on uh, and just put them into one effect that we can drag on and start working. Uh, so I've got a couple of R3Ds here that I'll use as examples. Uh, so normally, like I said, I would search up uh, all the different effects and, uh, but now what I can do is I can simply search up uh, starting point, if I can spell, and I get uh, my two effects that I've created, drag one on, and now I'm ready to go. As you can see here, uh, this is, uh, we've got a grain effect, a tint effect, a hue effect, and a curves effect, and uh, we can get started grading here actually. So, you know, maybe I want to increase some contrast, and then... This isn't really a look for me, but you know, maybe I want to give it a weird kind of bleach bypassy type of look. <laughs> wow, this is really terrible. Uh, I probably want to lower this constant uh, saturation. Okay, that actually that actually doesn't look half bad. Uh, and then maybe I would throw on some grain. I did actually change the grain preset here to automatically default to the Kodak 250D preset. Uh, normally, if you drag on a preset, it's not. It doesn't do the whole output. It does a little preview window, and it uses this crappy kind of default grain emulation. Uh, but we've kind of, I've kind of set it up to just automatically use a better grain filter. Uh, so it's doing that. And uh, also under the application settings, I usually like to change it to film. That actually won't stay. Uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't save that way. But that's something I like to do. Uh, so now I've got some grain, and uh, you know maybe I just end up wanting it to be black and white anyway, so I turn up the tent all the way. So now we've got a really quick grade done. I mean, this isn't, this is really just saving a bit of time in the beginning uh, is really what it's doing. Uh, you know, the actual time it took to create the, to get the effects tuned the way that we want to isn't changed at all, but in the beginning, we're saving a little bit of time and uh, doing this a lot over time is going to really, really be helpful to people. Uh, so let's just do it one more time. I do have another uh, effect preset that I created, and that is a kind of a vintage look starting point. Uh, and this is just a look that people really seem to like. It's kind of the Instagram filtery look. Uh, it's very popular. Uh, so I started, I created starting point for it. And basically what it is, is it's all the same effects, all the same stuff, uh, but the green is on by default. And... Uh, also, it kind of starts by bringing kind of the shadows up and uh, just giving it kind of a faded look. So, again, we've got all the effects here. 
I forgot to mention it also desaturates a little bit. So the the tint is uh, actually at 50% by default. So keep that in mind. Uh, but we go ahead and start doing our grade, get everything the way that we want it to look, and uh, then we render out our clip. Uh, so. Hope you enjoyed these two presets. This is a pretty simple, short little tutorial. Uh, it's not a lot to this, but I hope it really helps you out. Uh, you can download on my website at maxc.co. There'll be a link below in the description. Uh, you can also check out more videos on this channel uh, that you're on right now, or of course, uh, check me out at maxc.co. Uh, but uh, I'll see you next time.